outside the federal courthouse complex here in downtown Miami. The felony counts you mentioned, up to 20 years behind bars upon conviction, should that happen in some cases. That'll be a case that will play out over the next year or more, said federal prosecutors, if this ultimately goes to trial. The politics, the passion, legal and political, that surrounds Donald Trump, that will play out outside the courthouse complex next week as people both in support and in opposition to him join. We've already seen people with signs, both pro and con, gathering outside here. Inside the courtroom, or inside the courthouse complex, I should say, the former president will be fingerprinted. He'll have to appear before pretrial services. Then he'll go into the courtroom, and if all goes according to plan, it's expected he'll formally enter his not guilty plea then. It could be delayed if he decides he wants to work more on putting his full legal team together, but it's expected the arraignment will happen next Tuesday, and then the long process, the back and forth between prosecutors and defense before this can go to trial. What's at issue here? Fundamentally, that the former president, Donald Trump, withheld, actively withheld, and encouraged his aides and lawyers to withhold classified documents from the Department of Justice that, among other things, he revealed illegally a Pentagon plan of attack, a classified map of a military operation. And all of that will be central to the debate, to the allegations that he faces about withholding classified documents, about obstruction, about possible conspiracy involving one of his former aides, all in an effort to try and withhold this information from federal officials. And the special counsel, in a brief statement late today from Washington, talked about all of this. The men and women of the United States intelligence community and our armed forces dedicate their lives to protecting our nation and its people. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. Adherence to the rule of law is a bedrock principle of the Department of Justice, and our nation's commitment to the rule of law sets an example for the world. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. Jack Smith, special counsel, speaking from Washington, the former president on the golf course at one of his clubs, Bedminster, New Jersey, today, trying to project an air of normalcy. Possible defenses here, as I talk to legal observers, including a former federal prosecutor, that the former president will argue that because he had been president, he was entitled to have those documents. Also, that at the end of the day, it was not his responsibility to keep track of documents. That's something that AIDS should have done, and he should not have been expected to do that. The prosecution team will argue that evidence will tend to refute that and that they will argue that he was at the very heart of trying to essentially play hide and seek and to withdraw and withhold those documents from the government. It'll be that dynamic that we'll see at play from the prosecutors and from the defense as they launch their strategy in the coming months.